right related to everyone uh this is Rico de la Peña and I will just briefly discuss the exercises the bonus exercises for the water resources module now there are five main topics in the exercise first is the reservoir dam sedimentation which is mostly about unit conversions right and by the way all the exercises that will be given are taken or based from the book of David A. Chin 2013 titled Water Resources Engineering and it's published by Pearson Press all right, going back to the to the exercise. Going back to the exercise. The first topic is sedimentation of reservoir dams. All right. So it's all about unit conversions and volume calculations. And we'll talk about it later. The next topic is about storage requirements, particularly active storage of reservoir dams. Note that active storage is the storage that you allocate for mostly for water consumption and as discussed in the lectures we tackle the mass curve analysis or also called the ripple analysis and that's also uh, part of the exercise and this is the basis of the exercise this example now moving on to the groundwater component of the exercises we have two topics first is the design of well fields all right note that this is a three-step process right first step in designing well fields is to determine the optimal pumping rate of all your wells right normally we just use one pumping rate for all the wells that's the simplest approach so once we find the optimal pumping rate we move on to the quantity of wells that we need right so depending on the demand or the service demand right we have to if the service demand is large like there's where we have to serve a large community or a city you may have to uh, allocate a lot of wells to meet the required service demand all right after that once you know the optimal pumping rate now you also know the required number of wells to satisfy the demand the last part is to optimize the distance between your well well sites right so the distance is a function of drawdown so what we're doing in the distance optimization is we don't want the wells to be too close apart otherwise their drawdown will stack with each other and you will get a heavy drawdown that can result in exhaustion or permanent damage your aquifer the fourth topic and the second topic in the groundwater part is the delineation of wellhead protection areas this is a two-step exercise first step is to determine 
how much time do you need for the contaminant concentrations to decay or attenuate into what we call the safe concentration levels, right? Once we know how much time we need for the contaminants to decay or to attenuate, we then calculate what would be the distances involved. All right? I mean, given this time, how far can would the contaminant travel? All right? So, once you have time, you just calculate the distance that the contaminant would travel in order to reach that concentration levels. Right? Now, the, the last part of the exercise is actually not not completely technical but more of an economics problem so I added the economic feasibility uh, study of water projects right note that water projects have a long lifetime like 50 years 100 years and when, you, when you're dealing with those large time scales, you have to be completely aware or keen of the economic implications of the cash or the income that you will get over a span of years. Like for example, if you will be getting 1 million today versus you'll be getting 10 million in 50 years in the future, all right. Note that economic factors might actually make it more attractive to get one million now, right? Just for example, I mean there are there are economic considerations that make money that you get now more attractive compared to money that you get in the future, and we will be discussing that later in detail in the other videos. All right. Now for the exercise, since uh, we have rather uh, I had uh, a lot of backlogs with our activities, the exercise requirement. All right. I will be just requiring a spreadsheet submission or an Excel file uh, showing how you solve the problems. Okay, so I will be checking those uh, Excel files or spreadsheets and based on that, I'll be giving you a score for the bonus exercises. So this is just an optional or bonus exercise, right? Okay, so the next videos, we'll, we will be talking about the tutorials for the uh, those five topics.